Welcome to the third edition of the Black and Gold Show. Last week, the varsity football team lost the homecoming game against Lafayette 44 to 27. Key wide receiver Antoine Banks got injured at the beginning of the first quarter and didn't return for the rest of the game. Banks leads the team in receiving yards and has been a key player in most games this season. With Banks hurt, co-quarterback Kobe Allen stepped up as a receiver against Lafayette and he did pretty well snagging two touchdowns. Bailey Volstecki threw all four touchdowns, including an impressive 63-yard pass to Allen towards the end of the fourth quarter. In his past two games, Volstecki has thrown for over 200 yards per game and has completed over half his passes. Uh, I thought we got off to a bad start. You know, um, it's, it's not good to get off the, um, start the game off, turn the ball over to the other team um, nine yards away from their own end zone. But I thought our guys um, bounced back. I mean, we got down 21 to nothing kind of early. But our, our kids kept fighting. Uh, it was unfortunate that uh, Antoine got hurt. I mean, he had a um, pretty uh, bad ankle sprain, but um, I think he's been out there running around on it right now this week. So hopefully he'll be back this Friday. But in the same sense, that um, gave some other guys some opportunities, and we found some other good players that can make some plays out there, which will help us going down the road. OHS will be playing at Segment at 7 p.m. tonight. Segment has a record of 1-5 and, and has been significantly outscored in all their losses so far. This will be a good game for the Tigers to rebound from the Lafayette game and hopefully gain some of their confidence back. For Sekman, they're, they're a big team um, up front. Um, and that's one of our weaknesses. We're not a big team. We have um, smaller guys, but I think what we do lack in uh, size, we have in effort. And that's what we'll um, be looking forward to. Guys going out there, giving us their best efforts and um, looking to make um, a chance to go for two-time uh, conference champions. Don't forget to check back next week on myohsonline.com for coverage on next week's game. With a record of 3-3, three three, the Tigers look to get above 500 at tonight's game. Make sure to come out and support.